What's up guys? Are you sick of entering your same credentials in every single day? I am too. That's why we're going to create browser profiles and show you what you get out of it today. So today we're specifically talking about browser profiles in Chrome and your user experience as you're surfing the net. For me, surfing the internet every day for work means working with multiple clients and logging into multiple accounts. I don't really have the time to log into all of those accounts, whether it's Office 365 or some other application. So it's nice to have a profile set up that already knows all of my information and all of my credentials so I don't have to keep entering it in over and over again throughout the day especially when I'm jumping from project to project. So specifically today, we're gonna to talk about how to create a browser profile, how to sync it to the cloud, and all the great features that you get out of it. So first, we're gonna show you how to create a browser profile right from scratch on Chrome. If I open up Chrome here, you'll see that I already have a browser profile signed in. It's my personal account. I can open this up, and you'll see a bunch of accounts that I've already created. I can actually add a new one here. And we need to give a name for this new profile. I'm gonna put in Matt at Excavator Company. And we can pick an avatar to help distinguish our profile from the other ones I already have. Doesn't really matter what we pick here. And we'll go ahead and add that. Chrome is gonna kinda walk us through the rest of how to set this process up for these profiles. If you're already a Chrome user, you can sign in with your Gmail account, but I just wanna get, get us started. You can add some bookmarks for your favorite Google apps. I'm gonna skip over that part for now, but I like to pick different backgrounds. That helps distinguish profiles from one another when you're not sure what window you're on. We can move into next and say, do we wanna sync and get all of our bookmarks, our passwords, and more stuff that we get from our already set up Gmail account? Um, let's not do that quite yet. And here we go, here's our new profile. I can tell that it's here. We're not signed in with our Google account yet, but here's my other profiles that I've set up previously and we're good to go. So now that we've set up our first browser profile in Chrome, let's talk about a few features that we get out of it. If I jump right here, you'll see that there's apps already in here. And if we did sync to Chrome, we'd be able to add more apps right now, but you get a couple right out of the box. We can go in and start creating bookmarks for our new profile. We can bookmark this tab, put it in a certain list, hit done, and now we have a new bookmark here. And you guys can start to see that with different browser profiles, you can have sets of bookmarks for each different experience. Lastly, and maybe my favorite most important one is the password manager. So as we start logging into things and using this profile and start filling in credentials for various accounts that we have, Google password manager is gonna prompt us to remember those. So Google Password Manager is gonna pop up here in the top right and ask if we wanna save this password. If we save it, it'll be stored in our profile and we can go back and use it anytime we want and it'll autofill for us. So if we sign out of this account and try and sign back in, Google Password Manager should autofill this stuff for us. So now we have our password filled back in and it already knows that we're trying to sign in with our account. This is super useful because I have a lot of different office accounts. I have a lot of different various accounts that I use even just personally that I just am sick and tired of entering in my username and my password every single time. So Google stores all this stuff safely and securely for me and it's nice to have it autofill right off the rip. So in this next bit, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about syncing your profile to Chrome. We've talked about how you can use different profiles on one machine, but what do I do when I wanna get some of those profiles on another machine, whether it's at work or a secondary device that I have? So syncing will help bring that profile into the cloud so you can access it from multiple machines. If we go back to our profile settings and turn on sync, we could have selected that when we first created the profile, but we can also do it here now. I can log into my Gmail account Got sample user here at gmail.com. It remembers me. So now I'm syncing my Google account to this specific profile. And again, when I do that, the bookmarks, password history, and all the other things that we've talked about previously are going to go into this profile and be accessible from multiple devices. So this will take a little bit of time, but you see the avatar has changed. It's using uh, the default thumbnail now from my Google account, and we're pretty much good to go. So now if I go to a different device at home or at work and I log into my Google account, those profiles should populate in the top right corner in my browser experience. So this is super useful in summary, all your passwords, your history, your bookmarks, things that you've entered in that you tend to enter in every single day on your browser experience when you're surfing the net are all gonna get saved in Google safely and securely. 
Um, you can go and review those passwords and, and some of your browsing history right within the Google interface. And it's, it's just nice to be able to control and manage and customize some of that stuff. There are a lot of settings that I didn't go into detail about creating your browser profile, like changing a thumbnail. Um, you saw changing the background and, and some of the themes that they have in Chrome. So as you learn more of those settings, you can set up unique ecosystems of browsing for yourself. Um, so as you click through and have multiple profiles, sometimes I can get lost with where I'm at and, who, and which clients I'm working for, but it's nice to have those colors and those uh, avatars kind of show me where I'm at while I'm working and jumping throughout different experiences during the day. So hopefully this video is helpful to you guys. I know I love creating browser profiles and get a lot out of this day to day. So if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe below and we'll see you in the next one.